Happy Thursday, everybody. This is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. Today, I am excited to bring you a friendly reminder from the team at Presenter Media that the content at Presenter Media has the ability to be directly inserted into your PowerPoint templates. So what you can see in the background is my Presenter Media main page. And if you scroll to the very bottom, you can see where we have our PowerPoint add-in. If you click on that button, it's going to bring you to a dedicated page that has a basic breakdown of how our add-in functions. So you can see in the background here, we have a PowerPoint open and we are able to insert content that's on the right hand side here directly from the Presenter Media website. How handy is that? What I'm going to show you today is how to download this application to your computer and get it installed into your PowerPoint 2016 or newer. We're going to go ahead and click on install add-in and grab a desktop location. trust ourselves so we will say to go ahead and run the application anyways you'll see that we get this pop-up saying that there's a security warning we do have our uh, current licensure updated and now we'll just wait a few minutes while this small file gets downloaded All right, we got the add-in completed. Now let's go ahead and launch PowerPoint. I do have my Microsoft Office 365. And you can see that without me doing anything, this is a fresh install of Office, I already have the add-in for Presenter Media here right at the very top of my screen. Now if you were not able to see that, you could go to File, Options, Add-ins. And that's where you're going to see any active add-ins that we have running in PowerPoint. So again, here's Presenter Media. We can click on Sign In. It's going to give me this nice little sign in right here. We do use our normal username and password for this, and you can just go ahead and click on the Login button. Once we are logged in, you can see we have the search feature, My Custom Media, the ability to contact our support team, which will actually open up the Presenter Media website. So you'll actually be able to sign in and send any kind of support email you need to. You can sign out and you can even go to your settings so you can be able to modify your email address password. Or if you're running into problems, we can be able to get the diagnostic screen right off of here. So it's super helpful. So now that we have got the add-in installed and I gave you a brief breakdown of how to get it up into your PowerPoint, you can see on the right hand side we have our presenter media search box. You can select between that or the My Custom Media. And what I'm going to show you quick is how to insert the items once you have them on our library. So under search we have all of our PowerPoint templates available. These will open new files so keep that in mind if you open a template it'll make a brand new PowerPoint file for you. If you do an animation you can select the custom text. This will open up a brand new website that will have the PowerPoint, excuse me, will have the presenter media customizer on it so you can be able to customize your items. Once those items are customized, you can save them and they will then be available in your My Media link within the PowerPoint add-in. So the My Custom Media link, this is everything I've made in the last week or so. That's all up in my custom media file here at Presenter Media. So I have a PNG, which was a light bulb moment I did for a video. Just click on insert and there's that custom media inserted directly into my Microsoft PowerPoint uh, project that I'm working on. Some custom word blocks that I did, same thing. All we have to do is click on insert. It's going to insert those at the largest size available for this and you can see what the dimensions are going to be on the preview. If you need it to be bigger, you can go in and recreate these items. They'll just create them as a brand new custom item for you. So let's say you don't need something custom. You can just grab anything off of the Presenter Media website. So one of the things you can do is go 
search, let's say you're looking for something with stairs in it. Stairs are a great motivator, right? We have a guy falling down the stairs. This is an animation. You can see it as you mouse over it. We have full templates. We have clip art images. The entire presenter media library and then some is at your disposal. So we can just click on insert with a clear background. This will insert this animation for us and we can just put it right there. And if we play the slideshow, just make sure I'm going to see it in an individual window so you guys can be able to see it. Then down, the, down he goes, or forever, poor guy. So that's how easy it is to be able to insert something directly from the presenter media add-in. If you guys have any questions or you would like to learn how to use the presenter media add-in in a different way or any tips about Microsoft PowerPoint or Office 365, feel free to let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to keep up to date with all of our upcoming tutorials, make sure that you like and subscribe this video so you can get the latest news from Presenter Media. With that said, this is Kara Jones with Presenter Media signing off for the 4th of July. Let's make some great presentations next week.